Let me see if I can transmit my enthusiasm about using a PFSense router at home to not only make your network far more secure than standard ISP router, but also as your lab to learn very sophisticated concept about networking and cybersecurity along with Curator CE as a way of making sure that you are ready to tackle any job in the corporation. Why do I say that? And I'm, I don't think I'm exaggerating. The PFSense book, and actually the PFSense router was first mentioned to me by my good friend and excellent engineer, Xavier Aldanondo. And uh, if you look at the PFSense book, and after chapter, I mean, this is about the boxes and some things that are specific to the box. But once you set it up, and we have videos that show you that more on that later, Notice how if you want to learn firewall and configure rules, and this is your chapter, and you use your home network to practice that. NAT, routing, bridges, VLANs, you know, look, you can read for yourself. Every, if you know all these concepts and you know Curator CE, you can get a job pretty much anywhere. So, we have created a couple of, if you go into the video description of any of my videos, you find a link to this public page. And in here, we have this uh, document, which basically shows a section that is small right now, but we hope, uh, Paulo and I hope to be adding more content to it, that shows you step by step how to go about these things. The documentation sometimes is not as complete as I may think it should be, it can be, but these videos will definitely breach anything and you may not even have to read much of the book anyway. Now, why did I focus on the actual PFSense and specifically the SG1100? Well, the reason why I like this book is it's relatively inexpensive, $159 US dollars, that is. I like this. It has the capability of making sure that when you, even though this router might be f probably manufactured in China, no one can put a piece of software that is not signed by the folks at PFSense in NetGate because the hardware actually validates that. So that's what I like about this little box. Also, not only you have all those concepts that I told you on the PFSense book, but if you go on your router, on their system, package management, these are the packages that are installed by default, the AWS wizard and the IPsec. I installed, and videos show you that, Softflow to send flows to Curator. And uh, Paul and I also installed the Squid to send proxy logs. Uh, to Curator, even with SSL interception, if you want to learn that concept as well. But if you click on the available packages, I hope you are impressed by the long list of components that you can add to your PSNs box. You know? All these concepts that you can try and test in your home network. If you want to do, for example, IPS, you can go with the traditional uh, snort, or you can use the most popular one, Suricata. Now, I mean, Syslog NG. I mean, look at this. It's a that's. I hope that I have transmitted to you my excitement about it and get you into, you know, getting to test this to make your home network more secure. Uh, feel free to write to me on the comments section of any of the video if you want to contribute. You know, adding some more pieces of it and I'll be happy to make a video out of that and give you of course the, the due credit for it uh, but really Leopoldo Aguirre and I, Polo and I uh, had been having a tremendous amount of uh, uh, great times and learning experience on just creating this uh, short version of videos which I hope that I will be uh, expanding this list as we learn more and I hope that you learn more uh, with this and using the Curator CE and needless to say 
this PDF has a ton of about, I don't know how many, a couple of hundreds of com uh, concepts around Curator, so you can master both. So see yourself knowing the best SIM out there, knowing all these concepts of networking and cybersecurity, and applying for a job in any corporation. Uh, I can tell you, a PFSense router, from the feature perspective, has nothing to envy to big iron routers. And um, you don't have the opportunity to play, to test, and to learn with uh, big iron routers because they are in production. But with this combination of things, I hope that you do and look forward to hear. Give me, leave any comments or any contributions you may want to do. As you can see, the the parser that we use on PFSense was actually created by uh, by uh, Carlos Garcia, and uh, we think that we as a community can learn together and share among each other, and that's what makes these grassroots movements uh, so effective. Looking forward to it.